I woke up the next day. Everything seemed calm. The weather outside was as beautiful as ever. I could feel the peace in the air. But still, what had happened last night still lingered in my mind. Of course. I left my room. I observed that there wasn't too many people walking or lodging at the hotel. In total, I could only count like six people. I then proceeded to check on my friends. I knocked again for longer minutes than before. Still, I couldn't find them. Suddenly, the weather within the walls of the hotel that was formerly peaceful changed. I could literally feel the tension in the air. But I lingered. I had to figure out where my friends had gone off to. Everybody else that I saw seemed relaxed. Or is there a part of the hotel I haven't checked out? I started to snoop around, hoping to find any clues of an unseen area. Shockingly, I saw a janitor going around a corner. This was situated around the pool area. The way it was, it would have never come to my mind that there was more to see on the other end. I waited patiently for the janitor to come back around. I acted as if I was sleeping by the poolside and didn't see him come through. He left. I moved. As I went around the corner, I saw two doors before me with signs on them. One sign said basement. The other sign said basement six. I was confused, but I had to move quickly. I leaned my ears on the door that said basement six. I heard a voice very low but distressful. I leaned in closer and the voice got louder. I decided that I was going in but obviously the door was locked but this was a chance I was willing to take. I kicked the door open. I was met with a downward flight of stairs. I stood in speculation but I had to eventually move. On reaching the base of the structure, I could now hear the voice clearly. I could almost recognize it. It wasn't a clear voice, more like a distressful moan. I turned on the lights and I saw my two friends tied up in the corner with tape around their mouths. One of them had passed out. The other was in a poor condition. She was crying. It looked like she had been crying for a long time. The basement smelled really bad. I could see three other girls in the corner in a much more worse condition. I was shocked to say the least. The situation was dire.